Good morning. Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy and I'm here with Penny and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 9th of April. Looks like Penny's about to have a little nana nap, doesn't it? <laughs> she's a cutie. I know you guys think she's cute mm -hmm. too. Oh, she's a bit tired. Um, happy Easter everybody. First off, it's Easter Sunday here. So have a wonderful Easter everyone. I hope you're enjoying your weekend break. Um, I did bring my affirmation card, so I'll do a little affirmation card at the end, so stick around for that. So I will just get started, guys. If you are new, new, um, please subscribe if you'd like to. Hit the bell notification as well, so you know my videos pop up. And um, yes, YouTube's not really helping me to grow my channel very much, and I actually lost more subscribers yesterday after asking people to um, check if they were subscribed. So we do question a lot of things that go on with YouTube, don't we? So my numbers have actually gone down since yesterday again, guys. So please check that you're subscribed and hit those like buttons. Feel free to comment down below. I'll get back to you. Uh, it takes me a couple of days, but I do get back to you. I'm going to go on and check all my comments today. I'm going to try and catch up with everything. So bear with me. Easter gets a bit hectic, doesn't it, sometimes? All right, I'm going to close my eyes, guys. We'll let Penny have a little nana nap, and we'll get started and see what comes up. Oh, there's so much going on, isn't there, guys? Oh, I think Israel's um, fighting back too. I saw something briefly on the news this morning, so we know it's happening. All right, let's see what we get for the 9th of April. Okay, you lay down. Just mm -hmm. a little sleep. <laughs> oh, God. All right. <clears throat> Gosh, I'm getting all of us, and they're showing me us all holding hands together and up. Like, you know when you hold your hands together like this, and we're all holding all our hands together up, and it makes you more empowered. It, like, makes you bigger and stronger. So I'm getting all of us, and I'm getting that song, Hold Your Head Up. Oh, hold your head up. Don't know who sings it, but I know that song. Hold your head up. So we've got to hold our head up now. Um, oh, we know we've been labelled as everything under the sun. We have. <clears throat> but we're actually the truth tellers. So we've got to hold our head up knowing that the things that we have been trying to share with people and give them the truth, that it's now coming out and it's coming to fruition. So we're all like... Yay! It's like we're all joined hands and we're holding our hands up. And it's that I'm getting that song, Hold Your Head Up, again. We've had it before here. Hold your head up. Oh, hold your head up. So keep holding your head up, guys, because everything is starting to come out. It is. Oh, they'll realize. Don't worry. Just keep holding your head up. And, and it's like, it's almost like, um, we're holding our hands in victory. You know, if like a sporting team wins or something, they all grab hands and they raise them up like that. Well, that's us. Um, <clears throat> oh, and the course of gods are saying, you raise me up so I can stand on mountains. So we're raising, the gods are raising us up too. Um, so we can stand on mountains. Oh, thank you, gods. <laughs> they always hit us with that song, don't they? Just, I think they do that just to keep us like empowered and, and um, strong inside. So we can play the Josh Groban song again today um, because the guides are raising us up so we can stand on mountains. Um, all right, let's keep going. I'm getting sushi. Um, if you're new here, that's Rishi Sunak um, in England. I'm getting sushi's coming out from behind the curtain. I feel like sushi's been a little bit hiding away for a bit. He's had to do a lot of reassessing and rethinking around his carpet rollout of the reset because it hasn't been going to plants. But I feel like now he's starting to come out from behind the curtain. The other week we had him all gaunt and anxious and worried how he was going to continue to get people on board. But now I'm getting that he's coming out of the behind the curtain. He's, he's not hiding anymore. I feel like he's going to come out and take charge again. He, he's going to find ways to try and take charge again. He feels like he's got to hmm, represent little people and peasants and be a voice for them. Oh, that's so nice of him, isn't it? But I am getting that for sushi. He's coming out from behind the curtain where he's been hiding for a couple of weeks in his freaked out, anxious state. And now I feel like you're going to start to see more of him um, because he feels like he's got to take charge of the people and get everything back on track. And we know what he's trying to get back on track. It'd be his little red carpet rollout. Um, but he's going to try and get, he, he's going to have to really work hard at getting the people back on board with his agenda. 
So he's coming out. So you'll start to see him a little bit more. Um, and, and a lot of the reason they're saying that he hid away is he didn't want to amplify the situation. He didn't want it to escalate and get out of control like France did. See, he knew he had to back away and let the, well, it's sort of saying let the dust settle. Like hit with the 15 minute cities, for example, people rise up, lose their shit basically, and then he just let the dust settle. <laughs> so now he's coming out from behind the curtain. So you'll probably hear something else coming out of Sushi and he might even redirect it in another avenue. He might not, he might not um, push the 15 minute city things. He might go to something else. This is where they have to keep mixing it up or uh, otherwise people wake up. What do they think's gonna happen? Of course people are going to wake up. Their lives are being destroyed. Oh. So you're gonna start seeing Sushi more. He's gonna start to be interviewed more. Um, <laughs> he's going to start to rise back into his power again in his own mind, not in anyone else's. Um, <laughs> oh God, it's just a circus show. <laughs> How did we get here, guys? What is going on? Oh, my God. Um, all right, so Sushi's back. Sushi's back. <laughs> oh, oh, back in your face, basically, is what <laughs> the, the guides are saying. Oh, all right, let's see what else we get. God, I'm still getting Germany's rising. Germany. Hasn't that been quiet? There's been, like, nothing. So whether it's coming, mm, I do question a lot about Germany. What's going on over there? They're very good at hiding things. Remember that from past experience. So I still get in Germany. Um, the people aren't happy in Germany. I am getting that. All right. God, I'm getting typhoons. Typhoons. That's something we don't get in Australia. I'm getting typhoons going to hit um, the coastline. Um, oh, it could be America. I'm just getting typhoons. Um, I guess it is coming into summer, isn't it, over there? Um, a lot of storm activity. Oh, speaking of weather, we've got, we've had the worst Easter here, guys. It rained all day Friday. It was terrible yesterday. And today it's like gale force winds. You can't even walk outside and we've got winds again tomorrow. Like the weather is just not being normal. Um, so that's what's happening here. So I think you guys are going to all start in your summer over there. Maybe the coastline of America. Um, I'm getting, I'm just getting this typhoon kind of energy, quite destructive path of storms. Um, <clears throat> and we know when it wipes places out, what happens? They have to get rebuilt, don't they? So I am getting this typhoon kind of energy. Um, oh God, it's just, the weather's just being so manipulated. I really think it is now, guys. So I am getting that, um, more storm buildups, more rain. God, we know there's hardly any sunshine. No one's getting sunshine globally, are we, guys? We talk about that all the time here. Um, there's less and less vitamin D seems to be getting to people because we're all stuck inside with the weather. Um... Sorry, guys, I just get so frustrated by everything. All right, let's see where else we go. <clears throat> God, they're showing me the collapsing of, of banks. We know that's happening. And they're, like, collapsing in on themselves. They're showing me this, like, big building, like a monetary bank, like a building... And it's collapsing in on itself. Um, it's self-destructing. Um, we know they are. But this is all the changes, see, that are coming now. Um, it's almost showing me like the ground sucking up the banks. The banks are disappearing into the ground. They're just vanishing. Um, and I think we could say that globally. They're just vanishing. They're vanishing in my town. And most little country towns in Australia, the banks are gone Everything's like online now. You, um, you, you can't even, and they're even making them cashless banks. I was telling you that the other day. You guys would be going through the same thing. Um, so I'm getting that they're just disappearing. It's like they're just being swallowed up. All the banks globally are being swallowed up. And we know why, because the one big central bank's coming. Mm. <laughs> I think we'll know who'll be profiting from all the uh, banks, don't we, guys? 
no surprises. Um, so that's what I'm getting. They're disappearing and they're disappearing really quickly now. This is happening really fast. Um, it is. It's just showing me the ground, swallowing them up, and then they're disappearing. There's just a vacant lot. There's no building anymore. So it might even come to that point where there's not even any, like, face-to-face -face banks anymore. Uh, nearly everything will start to get done online. This could even be to do with your home loans. Like, you might do Zoom calls or something like that. There's going to be all this change. All this change is coming in the next... And this is within the next two years. There'll be hardly a bank that you can walk into and, and let alone get help or guidance or... Oh, do you feel sorry for all the young ones up and coming, don't you, having to deal with all this crap? And we, none of us voted it in. None of us want it. That's the annoying part, isn't it, guys? I know you understand what I'm saying. Um, sometimes you've got to solve these problems with someone, a professional that knows sort of what they're doing. Instead of all that, what do they call it? The troubleshooting and all that. Oh, that does my head in, guys. Troubleshooting. What is even, oh my God. Ugh. Anyway, I won't go there. Let's finish on that. The, the banks are being sucked in and just wiped out basically over the next two years. Um, all right. God, I'm getting this quote called speed banking. Speed banking, hang on a minute. I'm just getting the word speed banking and it's saying you'll be able to access your money even faster. I don't get all this. Like it won't need a clearance. Like say, for example, sometimes some telemachines have a limit of $800, don't they, per day or something like that, for example. Well, this is going to be, you're going to be able to override that now. So you'll be able to get out $3,000 per day or you'll be, as long as you put all your passcodes and you have all your identification, Oh, your identification, your ID. Mm. Um, they're calling it speed banking, where you can actually elevate the amount and that you're wanting to withdraw for a certain day. For example, if you want a car, you can access that money. Um, as long as you have your ID, and that's called speed banking, apparently. That's just what I'm getting. It's coming to a... <laughs> Mm, an invisible bank near you. Um, all right, let's see where else we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah, but fees and charges are going to apply and they're going to be extreme. That's what they're saying. Like if you borrow, or not borrow, but if you take out that amount, the fees are going to be quite high on that amount. It's not going to be like a few dollars. It's going to be quite high, quite big chunks. Like if you use your ID, access your money in this speed banking system, you're going to get charged like a hundred bucks or something like this. This is just what I'm getting. That's what they're saying. The fees and charges are going to get higher. Oh, we knew they would. Now oh, the bank's got to make their money, haven't they? And pay the wages of the bloody CEOs and everyone at the top. No, the little peasants aren't getting it because they don't work in the banks anymore because all the banks are gone. <laughs> There's going to be no stuff. It'll all be done by AI, as we all know. Oh, Jesus unreal see people don't realize and that's the thing you you i know you guys and i always see and think about is the amount of job loss all this self-serve oh yeah it's wonderful not when you haven't got a job it ain't wonderful is it when everybody's being taken down and the jobs are disappearing <clears throat> i told you about ikea the other week yep didn't even have a checkout on there was no one we had cash and there was no one there and they had to open a special checkout for us to get served and go through by a human. Yes, a normal person, an actual human being, and have a conversation. No, all self-serve. You go through and do it all yourself, and it was card only. You couldn't even use cash in the self-serves. But I did tell you guys that. But I'm sure you guys are noticing these things too. So huge, huge, huge amount of job loss. It's nuts. People aren't even awake to that, guys. Unreal. We just seem to see these things and we question everything, don't we? We can't help ourselves, can we? Um, all right, let's see where else we go. <clears throat> God, 
God, I am getting New Delhi. Is that in India? I've got the feeling it is. There might be some sort of riot, stand up, fight backs. I said India the other day, fingers, something happens over there. God, Sri Lanka's gone quiet, hasn't it? After that big, when they stormed the parliament. Let us, let us know, guys, if anyone knows what's going on in Sri Lanka, because it's gone very quiet over there. Um, but I am getting New Delhi. New Delhi. Mm. Watch this space, I'm guessing. All right, let's see where else we go. <clears throat> God, this is a warning for you guys watching my channel. <clears throat> These hibernating bears that have come out of hibernation that are now stretching and looking for food, we could say, <laughs> um, they're holding a lot of resentment against us still. And this isn't just about the jab wheel and about being flat earth, tin hat conspiracy theorists. This is about everything. Um, this is about right and wrong. And, and what's happening is they know they got this wrong, basically. This is what generally is hovering over here. And, <clears throat> and when you get something wrong, you get really pissed off and you always blame the messenger. Now I talk about that a lot here blame the messenger, why people blame the messenger um, and hurt people, hurt other people, this kind of thing. I'll leave a video over here about why people blame the messenger. Um, it's a big thing. Um, so they will always look for someone to blame. So you have to be very, very careful. And that's a warning from the guys to keep staying away from these people who are waking up, who are wanting to find out information because they're going to try and draw you in and suck you in and ask you questions. And you need to stay as brief as possible. Possible. I know you guys are doing that. You're all starting to realize people are waking up. They're starting to ask questions. Um, and that's a warning from the guides. <clears throat> they will always, well, they say shoot the messenger, don't they? <laughs> Which it's like. So be very careful of the people waking up that are, have taken off the bubble denial suits because they're still harboring a lot of resentment towards us. And it's against us. Wouldn't you think it would be against your government? But it isn't because we're the messenger between, I always say it, between government and the people waking up. We're in between. Um, <clears throat> so we've got to remain very stable. I always talk about the seesaw and how we've got to be that pivotal point. We've got to remain very stable now. It's very important to protect yourself from these people who are still harboring resentment at us. <laughs> they are. It's like we're the first point of call because they can't get to their government leaders and they can't get to them. So they're going to attack whoever's right in front of them, which is pretty much us. This could be family and friends. So just be very, very careful. Don't talk a lot about things. We know the truth and that's the main thing. They will find it out themselves and they are starting to discover it. So you have to just leave them to it. Don't engage in, in them trying to... Um, extract the information out of you don't don't fall for it because then they'll still blame you and shoot the messenger <laughs> they always do i don't know how that works guys happens every time all through life you'll learn 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 over life we all have here that people always shoot the messenger <laughs> and the messenger can be completely innocent but they still are the first point of call that people will vent all their stress their anxiety that their madness on. <laughs> so be careful. Oh, we've been told that for about two months now, haven't we, guys? All right, let's see what else there is. <clears throat> God, they're showing me America. Oh, my God. It's all happening in America, isn't it? I can't even imagine living there, guys, what you're getting bombarded with, all the BS and lies and garbage. But they're showing me it's like this big, big, like, soup of just everything. And everything's been tossed into this big, it's a big hot pot on the stove, and everything's in there. We've got the carrots, zucchinis, potatoes, but this is like everything, um, meaning representing everyone. We've got the Donald Trump, the Biden, we've got the homelessness, we've got the... Um, the reset rollout, everything's in this big cooking pot, right? But then what it's saying to me is that someone's poured in too much curry and it's really heating up. 
like it, it's becoming like inedible. Like if you put too much curry, well, some countries love hot things, but this is what I'm getting from America. Everything's overheating. It, it's it's too much. Um, it, it's 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 really hot. The energy in America is like too hot. Um, everything's like it's almost like ooh, exploding. Like the energy, the heat. If you eat lots of say curry <laughs> or or chili, we could say chili. Chili's a really good one because that just freaks everyone out. It's like this big soup. And people have the chili and then they're all red in the face and the steam's coming out their ears and then they're all sweating. That's what I'm getting for America. That's where a lot of the people are at. They are totally confused. They're overwhelmed. Um, you know when you have <laughs> a hot curry or chili, you just you become desperate for yogurt or milk and you're searching. You're searching for some relief. That's the people in America. They want some relief from the BS nonsense and garbage that they're currently being fed, which is a hot curry that's distracting them. You think of eating chili or curry, it's very distracting. You can't think of anything else. You're just looking for that yogurt and milk or water or whatever you can um, to cool your palate because you're that freaking overwhelmed. That's what's happening to the people in America. They're freaked out. Um, they don't know what's going on. There's too much turbulence. Um, it all just seems crazy. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. Um, their world's turning upside down. We've got the migrant issues as well. Put that into the crock pot. I mean, the cooking pot as well. There's just too much going on. Um, and people, it's like they can't get any relief. The people in America can't get relief. Um, you see, all they want is positivity and joy and happiness. And, and it's not happening. All they're being fed is this hot, pot of crap and and it's not giving them um stability and a strong future and they're just they're lost they're lost they're overwhelmed and they're looking for some relief with the yogurt and milk um and that's probably looking at anyone maybe dissenters well trump <laughs> he's gonna just gain more popularity from all of this people just want some stability they want a strong president moving forward in america they want to feel like they can get on with their lives they're not um, their finances aren't going down the drain. This is what's happening. People, oh, they're just infuriated in America. They can't get clear thoughts. That's like the chili and the curry. You can't get clear thoughts when your body's burning up. Um, there's no clarity. That's what I'm getting for the people in America. They're overwhelmed. Um, they're anxious. They're exhausted. They're flipping out. Um, all those kind of things that happen when you're eating a very hot chili. <laughs> um, that's what I'm getting. Hang on a minute. I'm getting the hot, of course I'm getting the red hot chili pepper song. Um, oh, what's that? I'm just trying to think. I know I can't save it when I'm all alone. Dun, never want a best time. I knew my life away. What's that song? Way, way, way. Oh, is it over the bridge? Over the bridge, isn't it? Over the bridge? I think that's it. Well, we're getting that song for America. Um, they're just, there's, it's just, it's too much. It's like eating a red hot chili and having a big hot curry of just too much, too much stuff coming at people in America. So we're getting that red hot. I'm sure it's over the bridge, is it? Mm, I think that's it. I really like that song. It's a really good song. All right, let's keep going. Get New Zealand, and I am getting that hippo's getting a few followers now. <laughs> He's building his little entourage of people following him. Um, I, I think people are going to fall for him a bit, as in they're just that relieved that Jab Cinder's gone. And they're not having to deal with her. So I think anyone's looking good pretty much at this point for some people in New Zealand. Not for you guys. If you're watching my channel, we see through it, don't we? But I am getting that he's starting to get a few people that are following him now and think he's not that bad and he's doing okay. And <laughs> he's starting to build his little campaign of people following him, if that's what you call it. Like he's working on his campaigning. We know he is. He's got to get the people to like him first. 
before he rolls everything out. So I am getting that. People are starting to warm to hippo. <laughs> oh, hang on. See, hippos backtracked a lot. Because I think Jab Cinder had a lot of things ready to roll out, but he's backtracked a bit. He, he doesn't want to hit the people with everything. He, he's holding off. He's holding off. He's holding off his red carpet rollout a bit because he wants to get, the, I keep saying it, he wants to get the people on board first. Very crucial when you're going to change their lives so dramatically um, because they may not want it, as we know. Um, so that's what I'm getting for Hippo. All right, hang on. I'm getting London. And I'm getting this old song. Oh, my God. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell, my bell. Ring dong, ding dong. Remember that old song? Ring, you can ring my bell. Don't know who sings it, but it's an old song. But I am getting that, um, the bell. You can ring my bell. Now, this is around. Oh, poor people of London. They're worn out. See, she's worn everybody out over there. And Charles, but this is around Charles ringing the bell. And this could be the bells of like the coronation. Um, it, it's gonna be big. It is gonna be big. Um, you can ring my bell. I'm just getting the like bells ringing in, in London. Like I would say this is around the coronation, this transition. <clears throat> and what I'm getting, the bell ringing is a part of vibration. Now this is interesting, isn't it? Because it actually makes sense. Because obviously when the Queen was around, there was a bit of bell ringing and things, was there? So I figure that this is a vibrational memory that they think could trigger people as well. Um, you think about it. If you hear church bells like on a Sunday or something like that, it does send out a vibration for many, many miles. And it, 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 it is a vibrational thing. And you go, oh, there's the church bells or, oh, someone's had a funeral. or There's kind of this energy that gets sent with it it's almost like a message if you think about it so i'm getting this ringing of the bells around london i don't know if you do get bell ringing clocks timing maybe but i am getting this bell ringing and it could be to do with charles's coronation that there might be oh like it might even be a countdown they might do bell ringing leading up to the coronation there could be some special countdown of the bells ringing so each day it rings for each day or there could be some special significance about these bells. But see, in, in the royals, the royal Kardashians think the bells send an energy and a vibration to the little people and it, it reminds them of the royals and the queen and it keeps them in people's, um, well, energy circles, I guess. It keeps them in people's minds. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting this ring my bell. Charles will be ringing his bell. Um, I'm just getting that for London. It could be like a countdown thing, like a clock chiming. Oh, God. People in London, so over it. I'm getting bombarded now. God, it's going to be everywhere. It's going to be full on in the next month, isn't it? Oh, good luck over there. We still get bombarded even here as it gets closer. It's crazy. Um, all right, let's see if there's something to close with today. so windy here today can't even go outside it's that really dangerous wind where it's like gale force mm. we've had no autumn guys none i think we've had one sunny day it's been terrible very disappointing i love autumn all it's done now the wind will blow the leaves off and then we'll go straight into winter mm. all right let's see if we can <laughs> sorry i'm just having a little whinge i know you guys are still probably getting snowed over there in your spring Oh, what is going on? All right, hang on a minute.
God, I'm, get, I'm hearing this song. It's a Michael Jackson song. I just can't get to the... Just bear with me. I'm trying to get to the heading of it. Oh, God. I'm, it's, it's, it's hit me, shake me, any way you want me. How about the... Ba -ba 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 um, oh, what is that song? I know Michael Jackson songs really well, too. It's that Martin Luther King or something. Um, hit me, shape me, any way you want me. Oh no, that's that. I don't really. They don't really care about us, isn't it? Is that the song? Oh, I'm getting that again today. They don't. Well, we know they don't care about us. We know that. I'm also getting another song though by him. They're crossing him over. Sorry, guys, it's a bit confusing. Is it Speed Demon? Is there? Has Michael Jackson got a song called Speed Demon? Speed Demon. Well, that's like us. Yesterday I was talking about us flying through the canyons and getting out of laying low um, and we're speeding off and we're like crossing the battlefield and we're getting out of the way. I'm just getting that song Speed Demon. I'm sure he's got a song Speed Demon by Michael Jackson as well. Um, Speed Demon. Something like that. Sorry, guys. I'm getting all these songs all at once and they're all crossing over. <laughs> Let me see if I can get one with clarity to finish with today. Hang on. Oh, I'm getting a beautiful song. Pretty sure it's by the Eagles. I can't tell you why. I, I can't tell you why. I. Oh, it's a beautiful song. Dun, 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 dun. I can't tell you why. I can't think of the rest of it, guys. But anyway, I want you to go and play that song today. I can't tell you why. Um... And, and I guess what the guides are kind of alluding to is we can't tell you why these people have not been able to see all the lies and garbage that they've been fed. They are starting to see it though now. We know they are because we've got the visual of all the COVID suits being washed out, hanging on the line the other day. That's the bubble denial suits for the sleepwalkers and people waking up. If you're new here, that was the people who couldn't see the Great Reset before and now they can. And I can't tell you why. And even the guides are saying they can't tell us why. Um, we always talk about frequency and vibration here. But I want you to go and play that song today. I'm pretty sure it's by the Eagles, isn't it? It would be. All right. I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. I'm going to say goodbye from Penny. Oh, she's had a big nan and nap. Say goodbye, Penny. Bye, everyone. <laughs> oh, she's so sleepy. Oh, she's a cute little thing, isn't she? All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Don't forget to hit the like buttons, guys. Oh, sorry, Penny. Um, please feel free to comment down below. Like I said, please subscribe if you haven't. Um, we talk about some crazy stuff here, I know. But it's good to have a laugh in all these crazy times that we're currently going through, isn't it, guys? All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia, bye from Penny, and I'll talk to you very soon. Happy Easter and have a wonderful day. I hope that Easter Bunny was very kind to you. <laughs> Take care, everyone, and I'll talk to you soon. Don't eat too much chocolate. <laughs> Bye.